So what is the New York Festival's lens? It's one that mirrors the wonder of a city where a million to one odds happen eight times a day. It's a lens that looks to honor creativity that contains both the regard and complete disregard for history. Not afraid to leap off history's shoulders to conquer and innovate in new creative spaces. Work that constructs real events in an unreal world and shows us something we haven't seen before. Buenas tardes. Sí, perdón. Quería hablar con el dueño. Él habla. Disculpe, señor. ¿El hotel se llama La Argentina? Así es. La Argentina Hotel. Quería avisarle que su establecimiento fue elegido entre miles de trabajos en el Festival de Nueva York. Te llaman y te dicen el Hotel La Argentina Best of Show en Nueva York. Y vos decís acá es borrar. Nosotros sabemos que acá estás en la ciudad de los grandes rascacielos. Competir con una Trump Tower, una Paris State, un Rockefeller Center. Si querés, más abajo tenés un Marriott, un Plaza, un Waldorf Astoria. Y hablar de los hoteles boutique de Brooklyn o Williamsburg. Porque nosotros, y no sé, a lo mejor porque es un aviso de fútbol que no muestra nada de fútbol. O porque lo visitaron millones de personas. No, al hotel no. Me refiero al video. O puede que sea porque las historias de un corazón siguen haciendo la diferencia. Hay de difference. Me imagino cuando recibamos el premio. Ese día vamos a estar todos. No va a faltar nadie. Y yo calculo entre 10 y hasta 12 personas. Argentina Hotel in San Bernardo, a small coastal town 200 miles south of Buenos Aires. A humble establishment named after the country, but with only two stars on its facade. So, we went to work to get the third one. We fixed what needed to be fixed. We changed the mattresses, we installed state-of-the-art AC units, and we filled the hotel with 4K TV sets so that guests could watch the loop recordings of the game. And the story of the transformation premiered on TIC as a six-minute short film starring the real hotel employees. Te llaman y te dicen, vamos a mejorar el hotel. Y vos decís, ok, ok. The whole thing, you know, has such a, a beautiful sense of humor, such a really nice a sense of storytelling, and at the same time ha, makes for, for, for uh, uh, content that you want to watch over and over again, even the case study that, you know, I think naturally uh, raised to, to, to the top of, of the work in, in a year where we had a lot of good work, especially in that category. So I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy with, with the result and, and I think that everyone is, is loving, is loving the, the best of show, so I'm glad for that too. Japanese textile startup Aizume has developed a dyeing method that uses medicinal plants and ultrasound to produce textiles that come with additional health benefits. I think Aizome could really turn the industry on its head. People with disabilities need a voice. This is my story of how I was elected to the National Council of Switzerland. The Frankfurter Allgemeine is one of Germany's leading newspapers, and for decades, it has become famous for its Brilliant Minds campaign. 
a campaign that features cultural icons with their faces hidden by the newspaper. We wanted to find a very special, brilliant mind for the 100th edition. So we asked Margot Friedlander, one of Germany's last living survivors of the Holocaust. Cross in towards Michael Chi. Great opportunity, and it's into the back of the net. Yeah! It's a hat trick for them. <laughs> Good. Two minute video, the footage rewinds. The VFX are removed. It is, in fact, the elite French women's teams. Pegou um futebol feminino. Is en réalité, ce sont les femmes de l'équipe de France. 